Howdy there, nerds! Hope you're having a great day. So, I'm just here to remind you, real quick, to always check out the description for not only the Gleam Contest, but also, of course, the Twitter and Discord. They're, they're great ways to get connected to me, and, of course, you know, you might win those orbs. You never know. I have to remind people because, well, why not? So, I'm currently here standing in an Armor Emblem team with a lot of characters, and I'm here to talk, well, <laughs> talk or pose a hypothetical to you, okay? Because it involves two characters, technically one, but, uh, you know, same person, same deal. <laughs> because come next Tuesday, we'll have several new weapons to choose from, and Hector in particular is one character I'm actually kind of fascinated in. Um, you know, you may pose the question, what might be better, Berserk Armads or Normal Armads, because he will be able to upgrade to his, uh, his Valentine, you know, <laughs> renditions weapon, at least. Meaning that he will have some new effects, and it's really up to you if you want to pick and choose which one you're going to use. However, I want to pose this question because this, this very well will probably happen. At least, eventually, I expect to see it pop up very soon. And that, of course, is the idea of seals, because seals have become such a big deal, and we're going to have to talk about why seals are scaring me, because they make a perfect harmony of mixtures when it comes to, um, you know, skills, passives, and weapons, all that sort of thing. You know, Quick Repost, Heavy Blade, and Savage Blow. These are seals that I see a lot of people use. Uh, I mean, without Savage Blow, a lot of those, you know, pain builds with staff units wouldn't work, or even, uh, you know, Jafar builds where you're using him. It's, it's really kind of cool to see how seals can react to each other when it comes to mixing and mingling with passive skills. Just to give you an example, the easiest one I can think of is Quick Repost with Hector with Wary Fighter, Normal Hector with his normal armads, you know. Since he has two Quick Reposts basically in, in his own little system there, that allows him to attack twice, even though the other, you know, his opponent can't. I don't, I don't know if that's very useful, but, you know, that gives you an example of how these mixtures work work together. But I'm going to propose this prospect here, okay? Vantage. Now, I'm really scared of the idea of Vantage coming out, and I'm sure that Vantage as a seal will will be useful on a lot of characters, but especially on Hector now, not only that he's going to be getting his, you know, the ability to upgrade to Berserk Armads normally, but also, you know, Valentine's Hector, because he has it naturally, too. And, well, I'm just going to say, Berserk Armads by itself is an obscene weapon. <laughs> it's a very obscene weapon. By stats alone, the cooldown reduction by one, plus a Wrath 3 effect, that means that he's going to be, well, especially painful if he takes damage. And I'm worried about this because this is going to be a perfect mixture of a storm. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use mixture a lot. A perfect storm, in a sense, to really make Hector, at least both Hectors in some regards, completely crazy. <laughs> All right, okay, so let's give an example, shall we? So Armads, the one thing that I, I really find fascinating about Armads, at least when it comes to Berserk, is that it stacks, of course, with Wrath 3 as well. You know, since it already has Wrath 3 built into it, it can stack and essentially, I guess, make Wrath 6. I, I don't know if that would actually be a thing, but essentially... Wrath's effects, when they are used like this, stack. So, to give you an example, um, I'm just going to click fight, and you can see it happen right there in real time. Now that's gone down to two, he's ready to go. That that gives you the example, right? Well, <laughs> when, when it comes to using that, I, uh, um, the one ability I'm going to be using here is Bonfire, because Bonfire is essentially the skill that, with, you know, normally it's three. But since he has Berserk Armads, which has the initial cooldown reduction, it's going to be two. Then, of course, you add on the Wrath effects, not only from the weapon, but also from Wrath itself. And then, therefore, when he drops below that percentile in health, he's going to get the two-charge two cooldown. Meaning that, essentially, Hector here will have Bonfire at the start of every turn. As long as, he t as, long as he's hurt in some regard. So, think about this, okay? 75% HP is required at least to be below that portion of his health. So therefore, with two Wrath, he's going to be able to have Bonfire. Not only that, but it's going to be Bonfire, but beefed up with plus 20 damage. So therefore, even scarier in that regard. Now, let's put, uh, put another spin on this. Let's say, in the future, a Wrath Seal comes out. That means, essentially, in the future, if this ever happens... It, it, it basically means Hector is going to be able to engage right away 
right from the start, he will have the priority, unless, of course, you have a certain seal, in which case that will be negated. However, not many people use that seal. This will probably force them to a lot more. But simply put, imagine the idea. Vantage with Berserk Armads, with Wrath, and, of course, Vantage. This means that Hector will be able to initiate with Bonfire, with its charged up bonus, every single time. At the start of the turn, as long as he's ready to go. Granted, uh, you know, he can't be attacked too much, but the idea is not that you're going to, you know, you're not going to run him in there and have that happen. But just to give you an example of how powerful this is, South is going to try and attack. That's going to do very little. And then, of course, Bonfire is going to absolutely obliterate him. 82 damage with Bonfire and Wrath. And that is the example that I am absolutely <laughs> just terrified of. That is a concept that scares me in every way, shape, and form. Also, get rid of Micaiah before she comes over here with her tone. Thank you. Anyways. But I think you can get the idea. This is what I'm worried of. <laughs> uh, I, I had this discussion with Jay for a while. He was like, oh, Vantage Seal would be amazing on him. And then I looked into it, and yes, this is kind of the same situation that kind of shows up with, say, or at least showed up before with um, certain other characters. Now, just look at that. Bonfire again, going to absolutely destroy that character. 78 damage. It's a scary possibility. But it's a scary possibility I really want to see happen. I want to see Hector pushed to the brink. I want to see Hector ready to absolutely destroy his opponents. And honestly, he already does it already, so why can't we have it happen again? <laughs> And, you know, just Understood. just as another example, let's, let's put him go. up against a red unit, just to show what you the you true want? powers. He won't kill the person, but he will do a exceptional amount of damage there. Quite a lot. And I don't think it will change too much, but I mean, nice. I also think if I... Re yep, he has Pavis, so that just makes things a little bit more messy when it comes to that, but you get the idea, right? <laughs> Vantage Seal, if this ever happens, is going to split Hector... Probably a lot more. I, I can see a lot of people not only running Berserk Armads on normal Hector, but also on, you know, Love Abounds, <laughs> Hector with Rep as a B passive. And since, you know, Quick Repose b broke him in some regards, I expect Vantage to do the same to him again. I'm, I'm just terrified of that prospect. I'm sorry if this was a bit rambly, but that's just my idea, my look at things. And if this ever happens, you better bet that it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> All right, nerds, that's about it for now. That's a bit bit less talking about math and all that other fun stuff and just giving hypotheticals, but I expect this to happen in the future. I really, really do. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to have uh, the Black Knight do this, and then we're also going to um, get rid of Pavis and then get rid of him. Just let's see how much this actually does without Pavis. 47 damage. That's obscene. <laughs> Now, just imagine that with the Vantage skill on any red. It, it would absolutely demolish any squishy available. So, that's basically it, guys. I'm going to continue doing this now. See you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!